Alright guys, what's going on? Hammy here, and welcome to the Stanley Pair. Oh man. Oh, it has my, like, counter up in the core. <laughs> oh, jeez. I have a pretty good feeling about this game. Anyway, the Stanley Parable. Uh, apparently this is an HD remake of a very popular game that used to be somewhere else. I don't know, but, okay. I just want to make a quick statement before we begin. Um, I will finish this, just as I'm going to finish Craven Manor, just as, just as I'm going to finish Dead Space 3. I'm just divvying them up, because I don't have a lot of time to record recently. So, do not take me, do not take me This as, is the story oh. of a man named Stanley. Uh-oh. Whoa, his voice is amazing. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. <laughs> employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. That sounds Orders amazing. came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. Oh, jeez. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something Stanley, very peculiar happened. Oh, oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh, geez. No one had oh, showed geez. up oh, to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his walk. desk and stepped out of his office. I can walk. I'm a real boy. All of his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can I get on the computer? Whoa, did I turn off his computer? Turn off his What What kind of, like... What happened here? Who would want to work here, ever? Apparently, apparently there's like a glitch you can do. I forget the glitch. Hello? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, oh gosh, oh darn. Oh, jeez, oh gosh, oh darn. Stanley went Whoa. around touching every little thing in the office, Pretty much. but it didn't make a single difference. But nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. I mean, I didn't know you were going to be that way. I mean, touching... Didn't touch everything if I want to. What the heck is going on? What is it? Oh, oh. Yeah, I can open a thing. I hate Mondays. I do too. Oh. Nope, guess not. Oh, jeez. Hello? Okay, nope, guess not. Uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, no. Let's see how that works. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. I honestly don't know what to say about this game. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really, really, really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Well, that's kind of depressing. What is this company? A dollar twenty-five for a canned drink? Are you kidding me? No. Mm -mm. Not yes, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Do I need to do that seriously? Stanley was so bad at following directions; it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> well, what the heck is here? Oh, gee, where am I? Why, is this part of the company? Hello? 
Oh god. Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Uh-oh. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. Stan. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who is it? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Uh-oh. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back in into your life. She's been waiting. Can I open this? Guess not. Who is it? Who is she? Can I can I leave? I don't want to do this anymore. Can I drive the forklift? Uh-oh. Oh! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. What? Who? Hello? What? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. She sends a bubble. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. What? Who are you? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, am I gonna die? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands Let nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential no, nature wanna, of his do existence. This. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. What? Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I press... But in his mind, is... ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to what? fantasize about his own job. Where's my TV? First he imagined that you one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk what? to realize that all of his what co-workers, his boss, okay. everyone in the building no. had suddenly vanished Stop. off the face of the earth. Stop. Why is the this in my room? excited him terribly. I don't, do I don't want to do this anymore. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. This is, at no, last, I don't want to. Choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered <gasps> through this fantasy Michelle, world, this he began to fill it with here, many please. possible paths and destinations. Ah, God, why? Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he like relived children. it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. What? How could there possibly be? Oh my God. In reality, all he's doing no. is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. This game is deep. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here. 
Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay, I won't do it. I'm not gonna do it. I am not going to do it. I refuse. I refuse. I'm not- Let me out of here! This is not an okay thing to do. This is not what I would like for this to happen, ever. I'm not pressing that button. I'm not doing it. I refuse. How could you? I have a life to live. How do, how do you know I don't want to be president? How do you know that I don't want to be a famous voice, voice actor? How do you know that I don't want to be somebody that I'm not? How do you know that I want to don't want to break out of here, becoming who I want to be, but I can't because you guys are locking me down? Please, just let me out of here. I don't want to press the buttons anymore. Just let me out of here, man. I don't want to press the buttons anymore. I don't want to press the buttons anymore. I'm not pressing that button. Have you guys ever heard of soup? Soup is a good thing. I'm not pressing this button. I'm not doing it. I'm not... I'm not doing this. I... Okay, fine. I'll press Q. I'm not pressing R, though. How do I get out of here? Let's see somewhere I can get out of here. There's some way I can get out of here. I'm not pressing the R button. I'm not doing it! Really, I have no choice. You see? Can he just not hear me? What? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? I couldn't How can I make him look button. at himself? Fine, I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. Oh, geez. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps. Well, okay, this time this I'll time get it. See. This time I'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe this and I tried again. Oh, oh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Stan. And I Am I dead? Did I kill myself? Uh, wh what is this game? Oh, what? I, uh, I like it. I have no idea. I very enjoy it. I'll do it again some other time. I, uh,